Hi everyone! Welcome to another barista video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to extract espresso. In extracting espresso, the first thing that you need to do is to flush or purge your group heads. After you have purged them, you need to insert your portafilter immediately and start extracting your espresso. Once you're extracting your espresso, you also need to monitor the volume and the extraction time of your espresso shot. And once you are done extracting your espresso, you need to inspect the crema of your espresso shot. Once you have inspected the crema, you need to immediately serve your espresso or use it in any coffee-based beverage. Before extracting the espresso shot, the first thing that we need to do is to flush or purge the group head. Flushing the group head before inserting the porta filter is very important because there might still be old ground coffee or dirt that are still present in the group head that are not yet properly cleaned. When inserting the porta filter, we need to ensure that it is inserted tightly. Once you insert the porta filter, you need to press the switch and start extracting your espresso immediately because if you take time to extract your espresso, your ground coffee will be burnt. Once you press on the switch, there will be a 5 second pre-infusion before the espresso comes out of the porta filter spout. When extracting a good shot of espresso, you need to have filled in one shot, which is 30 ml, in approximately 22 to 28 seconds. A perfect shot of espresso can be filled in exactly 25 seconds. And this is the final product, a perfect shot of espresso. As you can see, it has a thick golden brown crema on top. This is now ready for serving or to be used as a base for your other coffee beverages like cappuccinos and lattes. An espresso should be served in a Demitas cup with a saucer and teaspoon. Look at that liquid gold. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to prepare milk and equipment. Stay safe and enjoy the vibe.